and she's talking over there. But you always sound awful, Scott. What's up everybody, this is Scott and welcome back to another video. I've had a lot of comments on my Pixel Buds video and I wanna get one out to you for the Google Pixel Buds versus the Apple AirPods. So in order to compare the two, I need to set the foundation the right way. So there's a few things that I wanna talk about today when comparing these two sets of earbuds. The first being Bluetooth, not only from a connectivity perspective, but also a latency perspective. I also wanna to touch on the sound quality out of both, cause I've used both pretty extensively. So I feel like I can give a pretty good idea of what you're looking at. After that, I wanna talk about battery life. Additionally, I'm gonna talk about gestures, which ones can do, where some of the shortcomings out of both might be. And I'm gonna wrap it up with the price. So moving right to it, let's talk about Bluetooth. I've talked about it in my Pixel Buds video where the Bluetooth connection from a distance perspective and a strength perspective in the Pixel Buds is really, really good. From a distance perspective, I was upwards around 40-ish feet. I was able to keep my phone in the middle of the island and walk completely around the first floor and had no connection issues with the Pixel Buds. Honestly, the same could be said with the AirPods. I was able to set my phone down. Now keep in mind my phone is a Pixel 2 XL and walk completely around my first floor. The AirPods were just as good from a connection perspective as the Pixel Buds. In in terms of latency, I had no latency issues out of either one. So as soon as I fired up a video with the Pixel Buds in my ear and that of the AirPods as well, I had zero latency issues when I did that. So needless to say, it's a complete dead tie when it comes to Bluetooth connection because both are really, really good. So let's move on to sound quality comparison between the two. While the AirPods sound nice, they're just not nearly as good as the Pixel Buds. The Pixel Buds have a little more bass, a little more mids, a little more highs, whereas the AirPods, they're there, but they're just not nearly as good as the Pixel Buds, in my opinion. As I've said before, I really, really like the AirPods, so I can't take away from those. It's just that the Pixel Buds were a little bit better for me. How about from a battery life perspective? Both of them get five hours of battery life when they're in your ears. Now, that's more impressive in my opinion for the AirPods because they are truly wireless. However, with the Pixel Buds, they do have that cord that wraps around your neck, so that's something that a lot of folks like. So they don't have to worry about losing the earbuds, kind of like what you could do with the AirPods. Those things are 75 bucks a piece if you lose them. In terms of both of these cases, these cases each come with an additional 24 hours of battery life. It's much more impressive, again, in the Apple AirPods case because it just looks a little bit different, as you can kind of see right here. This one is significantly smaller in my hand versus this one. Neither case are bad, it's just that the Apple AirPods design is a little bit better. But again, if none of that stuff matters to you, exact same battery life out of both. From a gestures perspective, now I'm just gonna come out and say it in the beginning, neither one of them got it perfect. There's one missing from each one of them. From the Pixel Buds perspective, you have no ability to actually gesture your way forward or back in a track. You have to press and hold the button on the right side to invoke the assistant to ask it to go forward or come back. That is something that a lot of people have called out as a miss. I don't particularly mind, but a lot of people want that ability to maybe triple tap or swipe or some other type of gesture to go forward in a song. Now, while the AirPods have the ability to skip tracks forward and back, they don't have the ability to turn the volume down. You have to evoke Siri to go, hey, turn the volume down, and then she'll do that for you. Again, neither one of them got it perfect. They're both missing one of the key features. Uh, I tend to like the ability to adjust the volume more on the Pixel Buds than that of the AirPods. Also, also, I used the AirPods with an Android device, so I didn't have any of those gestures anyway, so I guess I didn't miss out on anything. From a price perspective, both are $159. There's a lot of reviewers out there that are really upset with Google about having the price the same as the AirPods. Personally, I'm not really sure why that's a big deal, because the whole truly wireless versus wireless is a little bit overblown in my opinion. Honestly, if they're AirPods and they work for you and the price doesn't matter, both of these are really, really good. From a quick setup perspective, both have the quick setup. I'm actually gonna go ahead and give the hand to Apple, even though I really like what the Pixel Buds have done from a quick pair perspective. Honestly, it's really easy. You take the AirPods out of the box, you flip open the lid next to an iPhone, and boom, you can automatically see that they're trying to do the connect. Same kind of concept applies with the Pixel Buds. When you open the Pixel Buds up, press and hold the button on the inside, you should see some type of notification on your phone that pops up and says, hey, I wanna go ahead and pair with your device. Boom, it does that. So what about Google Assistant versus Siri? Now, this is where my bias is gonna show. I personally believe that the Google Assistant is a little bit better, but Siri is definitely good enough for a lot of folks. From a basic command perspective, Siri and Google Assistant are basically the same. They both do the basic commands very, very well. Things like skipping tracks, music, open maps, open mail, they both do that. They both do it really, really well. I'm not gonna talk about the basic commands. But from a context perspective, the Google Assistant far and away beats Siri. 
say you're asking how tall Michael Jordan is and then you can follow that up with how old is he the Google Assistant knows the context of that he and can provide the answer of how tall Michael Jordan is whereas Siri doesn't have that ability to do that right now the Pixel Buds do have that translation feature which does work if you look at my video that I think is probably right up here you'll see that my really crappy Spanish does work I did test this out with someone who is a much more native speaker in terms of Spanish and it worked just as well so Obviously, that's going to have to go Google's way because there's no translation feature on Siri that I'm aware of. So what's my recommendation after I've talked a lot about both of these? Honestly, it's really going to depend on which phone that you use. If you use an Android device, my recommendation would be the Pixel Buds, as long as that Android device has above Android 6.0. That way you can take advantage of much more of the features that the Google Pixel Buds have to offer. However, if you have an Apple iPhone or an Apple device or Apple devices, I'm going to recommend the AirPods. The AirPods, from a functionality perspective, really work well in the Apple ecosystem. Now, maybe in a future video we'll talk about what happens when you cross the ecosystems. I'm not entirely sure yet. The TLDR in this is if you go Android pixel buds if you go Apple go AirPods that's the easiest way and you get the full functionality set out of both earpods so that's it that's all I have thanks for watching today's video I really appreciate you guys Greg and I are gonna continue to do our live shows as always like share subscribe thumbs up leave a comment below and we will see you next time